Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I wanted to share how I have been organizing my accessories here in my office. So I got this really tall shelf and I put a number of baskets on there and I put my lounge fly bags here down in the bottom so that's been working well. I have some small baskets here for accessories but then I got these really great boxes from Home Goods, and I used this to stow away all of my small accessories in a really pretty way. So I actually really, really love these. They're a bit shimmery. They came in three different sizes. So I wanted to open them up and show you what's inside these boxes because it's in the back of a lot of my videos, but I wanted to show you what's inside, how I have them organized, and how it has helped keep everything a little bit more collected collected and easier to get to as well. So the nice thing is everything is super visible without being super visible. So this is the largest box and this has a number of Louis Vuitton handbag accessories inside. So I will bring it over here so you can see how I have this one organized. So this one worked great. It has a number of the smaller accessories that I'm not using right now. Um, that's one of my agendas. There's different things in here like bandeaus and just smaller accessories that are not being used currently. There's some charm boxes. But as you can see, this was a really great way to kind of corral all of these smaller boxes in a way that, you know, wasn't very messy. It wasn't, you know, kind of standing out on a shelf or anything because they're all different sizes and I found that it's not really something that I wanted to have displayed. So those fit perfectly down inside the larger one. And then size wise, the next size down was perfect for all of my Tiffany boxes. So this worked out great for, I don't save the boxes for everything, but especially if I'm still stowing away some of this stuff um, or if I'm just wanting to save it in case I ever need to take it into the store, that sort of thing. I have ended up saving a majority of these boxes um, so I just stowed all of those down in there. I don't know why I collect the bags. I used to have a lot more, a ton more, um, like when I was younger. I've actually ended up getting rid of a lot of the shopping bags. I like them. I used to use them in decoration, but they're not really needed, so it's probably something I could um, get rid of. But I have just some of my um, different jewelry items, and you can see, like, I have a couple of jewelry um cases i have a jewelry armoire and a couple jewelry uh cases that i keep different jewelry in but this is the jewelry that um it's usually used for like vacations and stuff so i just kind of keep it in here separate and i have some of my cleaners and things like that so this is that stuff and then the last little box was the perfect size for small accessories so here's what's down inside here so this one has some of my Pandora collection in here and I think I've shown that in a video but I probably should do an updated video because I just recently got a few more pieces and I think I'm probably going to get some of the Disney pieces from the 50th um, but here this one has my Disney Cruise Line heart charm, a Cinderella charm, I have a couple little Mickey clips, um, I think one of them, I'm really bad about my Pandora, I had the mini one and the Mickey one, but the Mickey one popped off. I'm really bad about losing Pandora stuff, so that's why I don't wear every day, but I do enjoy their Disney collection. I used to also really like the Essence collection, but that's one of the first bracelets I've lost. So I have I have a love-hate relationship with Pandora. I like it, but I always tend to lose it, and I'm not a person that I lose stuff a lot, so it's awkward um but anyhow i have some of my extra wallets here all of these french purse style wallets that i like in the different colors card cases a lot of times i'll use these for different vacations this is a quick grab and go wallet um, some longer flatter wallets and a dooney and burke little accessory case so this has been great for organizing some of these accessories so one of the things i'm going to be tackling soon is all of my purse storage and going through my purses again and just really making sure um, that I want to keep all of them because I'm going to be getting some different furniture for my office and so I'm probably going to be replacing that purse cabinet and just shifting my purses to my closet um, but I wanted to share these boxes and they were really inexpensive I think they were only like 15 or 12 dollars depending on the size 
and these have worked out really, really well to stow away all of these kind of small collection items that you maybe, you know, need stowed away in a closet or on a shelf somehow. Um, and you know you just want some place to stow them especially like these boxes so I'm gonna be continually working on this over the next year but I wanted to share those with you and how I currently had my small accessories stowed away let me know down below how you store your small accessories and thanks for watching have a great day